That glow, that enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh, um. Aha. Uh -huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. Oh, come on, can't you hear it? The spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure. I bet this place is going to be awesome. I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. No, I don't think they would have followed us. They had a lot going on in town. We'll get home and they'll be super jealous they missed out on all this. Well... I, for one, vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. It says, invitation. And then, read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! <laughs> Toss it here! Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. Boy, I hope so. I wouldn't mind getting out of the zombies for a bit. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. Hope that fighting helped you work up an appetite, Petra, because you're about to eat my dust. Oh, big words, Jesse.
You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a... Okay, you won that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? That front door's definitely a no-go. <gasps> Stick with me, guys. The heck? What? What'd you see? You just gasped. L like you'd seen something. No, no. Who he was. Some creepy guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkins. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? There. We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees. We can cut those down. Good plan. And now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place. Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Wow, some kitchen. Poor dog. You know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you, for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Uh, if... What the? Hi. 
Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for, like, hours. It's rude! Wait, wait, wait. This isn't your house? Ugh. No. Be polite. No, I'm, I'm afraid we're not the ones behind this either. This is Torque Dog. Sup? And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got, like, nine million fans? Yeah, I actually have no idea who you are. Oh, really? Like, no idea? Like, none? Nope, sorry, but uh, my name's Jesse, and that over there is Lucas and Petra and Ivor. Charmed. <clears throat> Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys, anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Torque dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. Actually, we're the Order of the Stone. Legendary heroes. Kind of a big deal. Psh, legendary heroes? <laughs> I ain't never heard of you. Torque dog. Cool it. That sea of zombies has us all trapped. So we just need to try our best to get along. Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. Huh, all these other people as rude as you? Watch yourself, little dude. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, <coughs> Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons? Uh, yeah. Well, why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from, like, out of town or something? Ah! What the hell? Did you hear that? Something touched my butt! Who touched my butt? I think everyone died for cover! Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a girl's name. Tork dog? Tork dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... Sparkles, I hope this isn't an insensitive question, but did you do that? What? No. How could you say that? All those arrows, this inventory, everywhere. How did that... Who? One minute he's alive, the next... Gone. Poof. Sparkles, I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay. Okay. You're right. Woo. You're right. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is... Why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Uh. <sighs> uh, who would do this? There's the trapdoor that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? <sighs> mm. <laughs> Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. You say you know about these tipped arrows? Anything else you know that you're not telling us? Well, you're, you're not implying what I think you're implying, are you? Because I had nothing to do with this. Nothing. Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those... Not too long ago. But my nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay? Hang on a minute. It's you! I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? 
recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Um, okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof. You guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Absolutely perfect. Must have been when we showed up. Somebody's up to something. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Oh, let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> 